Do you know that feeling you want to advertise your products on Google Shopping, but your products just don't get approved on Merchant Center? Now, we all know that you need to push all your products to Merchant Center before you can advertise them on Google Shopping. But I get this question like multiple times a day, people asking me, hey, why don't my products get approved? They're in the pending status for like days or even weeks or they get disapproved many things that I hear all the time. So in this video, I want to give you some tips, some uh, things to remember when you want to put your feet on Merchant Center and get it um, approved in a reasonable amount of time. So stick with me. We will ju jump right to the computer into my Merchant Center account and I will show you a few tips to make the process a little bit faster and make sure that you understand what's going on. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in one of our Google Merchant Center accounts and you can see already that with this particular account, it took us a really long time until we finally started getting our products pending and then finally approved. So you see that even, you know, I can message them directly. I have access to a rep uh, on in, at Google in a chat. Even then it can take some time for all the thing, uh, these things to get through. So what I want to tell you here now is a few tips and the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you go to the text tab at the left here, you need to make a choice here. So when you sell products in the United States, you need to set up your text settings and by default it's at don't configure text at account level, but you have to choose one of those two here. So either you configure no nexus for all states or you configure tax and set up Nexus. Now Nexus has to do with sales tax in different states within the US so you better uh, check that with your accountant. Normally most of my clients and also pretty much every time when, when you sell in the United States as a small dropshipper you choose that middle option here but um, you have to check this by yourself but normally you do this and you then deal with the sales tax by yourself. So this is the first thing if you don't configure this your products won't get approved if you sell in the United States. So this is something that you should definitely check out from the very um, beginning on. The next tip, the next thing that you should check is when you go on the left here again at shipping, you see that in our case here we have a, a shipping service called standard shipping already. You have to make sure that you have one valid shipping service enabled. So you click on this blue add button here and you give this a name. Let's say, for example, uh, well, standard shipping two, right? And you have to then choose a service area. So in your case, let's say you sell also sell in the United States, you hit United States and then you have to do all kind of, of adjustments here. So for example, the order cutoff time. So when an order from today counts as an order from tomorrow and, and will not um, you know, be handled today or something like that. So handling time, I would say usually something like one or uh, between one and three days and then Transit time is usually when you sell from China 5 to 15 days, sometimes more, it depends on the country. In the US, you know, this is normally to play safe. However, there are a ton of, uh, of settings. Of course, if you have your own warehouse, then all the things are quicker. You can also have some advanced settings, but this is what you have to do. And then when it comes to shipping rates, you can either define, you know, everything for free. So for it doesn't matter how expensive the product is, the, the, the shipping cost is free. Or you can of course say that every, everything from zero to $10 cost $5 shipping, everything from $10, one cents to $30 cost $3 shipping and so on and so forth. You can, you can and you have to set it up here at the bottom uh, with the shipping rates. Before you set up a full shipping service with everything, you cannot really um, yeah, start running your ads. So your products will never be approved and everything won't work out if you don't have a shipping service. The third tip, and it's actually very small, tiny little detail, but still very important. Your service in, in your service settings, your currency has to be the exact same as the one in your feed. So I recently had that someone messaged me that, it, that you know all his stuff wasn't approved, but in the end he had a euro as his feed currency, but in the in the service currency here he had US dollars, and this doesn't work. So your service settings currency has to be the exact same as the one in your feed. If there is a difference, then it all doesn't work out. So make sure that you have this checked here. And then we discard our changes. The last thing that you need to check is the business information uh, business information tab. And here you have to make sure that your business display name is valid so that you don't use any fancy special characters, that your business display name should be valid so that Google 
um, recognizes it. If you don't have a valid business display name, then it also doesn't work. So make sure that this is the case. And then you, of course, have to verify and claim your website. So right before you start this whole process, you have to verify and claim your website. If you use Shopify, just type in, you know, Google Merchant Center, claim website Shopify, and you will get a ton of, of uh, pages and, and entries there on how to do that. So I won't cover this here. Very simple. You either add like a little HTML code or you add a little file to your store. It normally takes just one or two minutes. So this is something that you have to do as well at the very beginning in order for this whole thing to work. And yeah, basically these were my four tips. The thing is guys, that even if you do all those things and nothing really goes wrong, it may still take like five business days up to 10 business days. And I've also seen cases where it takes even longer than that. The point is if it takes more than like five to seven business days, I would contact Google support via email and ask them like, Hey, what's going on? Why don't my uh, products go live? What is happening there? And usually if you do that, they have a look at it manually and then it, uh, it also, it, it's all uh, going a little bit quicker. So I made the experience that if you message them, they will have a look at it by themselves and then they will approve it. Of course, with email, it's still slower as with a message, but in the beginning, you don't have access to chat support at Google Ads, unfortunately. So let me know how this works for you. Let me know how long your products took until they were approved. Let me know whether you are still waiting. I know that it can be quite annoying, but uh, yeah, just message me and po post a comment below how the situation looks like in your case. I hope that this vel uh, video was helpful for you. If it was, then please leave a like and subscribe for more Google Ads, e-commerce and dropshipping um, videos. If you want to learn more about Google Ads, how to master it, how to use Google Shopping, Smart Shopping, all the fancy stuff that is around now these days, uh, make sure that you check the description for the Ecom PPC Academy, my training program that is still running on a late <laughs> Black Friday discount, or oh well, early Christmas discount if you want. And if you want to master Google Ads for your e-commerce business, you should definitely check that out. So hope this video was helpful. I hopefully see you in the next video as well. And until then, wish you all the best. Bye-bye.